期待に応えようと頑張ってる。ロシですか？売れっ子様が。Okay, wait, 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 Comment and subscribe to the channel so you can help us get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And you can find the full link as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Plus, you'll find some other links in the description. If you like non anime reactions, I have a second channel where I do that. And maybe you want to stop by my Twitch stream. Link for that's down in the description. If you want to watch some live reactions, if you want to watch anime with me and the rest of the community, these people right here, stop by over on Twitch. Hang out with us. We watch Oshinoko literally on stream on Wednesdays. You could be there for that. You could hang out with us, okay? Oh, the last thing I want to say if you are watching this with Japanese subtitles, let me know what you think about the Japanese subtitles, okay? We're going to be doing that for all of these Oshinoko episodes. And we'll probably go back and even add those subtitles to season one episodes as well. <laughs> Oh, dude, it sounds so fire. I love the end part, dude. Ah! All right. Oh, what is that? I never even noticed her in the crowd like that. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Lock in! Wait, wait. What? Playboy. Playboy. What the? Wait, what? Aren't they kids? It's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not like, it's not like the Playboy magazine in America. It's like, it's a, it's a Japanese thing called play. Okay. All right. For those of you that are in Japan, I don't know if you know what playboy is in America, but essentially it's like, it's, 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 it's like a nudie mag, right? It's, it's naked ladies magazine playboy in America, in Japan. I don't know. What, I don't know what it is over there, but in America definitely wouldn't be no 15 year olds. Who's Doyama? Oh, she has nothing to, to like make herself seem more interesting with. No stories. Oh, oof. Wait, so we might be able to get one concert off real quick? Fucking around with these other hoes. Oh, he's going to see the around stage thing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. A ping pong play? Wait, is this a play? A ping pong play? What the fuck? Oh, so you go from one scene, it spins you to the next scene, so that way. While you're doing that, they can work on changing whatever this is, or maybe they even keep some of them the same, right? Because you can just go back to that, like if it's a, a similar setting, they can just go back to that one. But like literally you can switch between different, like different uh, background stages, like different, okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, you think? What are the most lavish theaters in Japan? Yeah, it, it fucking spins. It's a spinning theater. Yeah, yeah, Goryuni. <laughs> You've been caught. That's what I said. That's what I said. She can she can write her story perfectly. But she cannot adapt her story to a specific medium that is not just her manga. Or maybe she could turn it into a light novel, sure. But in order to adapt it to a stage or even for a film, you have to take into account certain things. You have to take into account the audience. You have to take into account the medium. You have to take into account um, the limitations, but also like what you can do with it. So like, how far you can take things, but only, but also like the, I don't know what is the opposite of limitations, right? But you gotta be able to take all that shit into account in order to adapt it. And she's not gonna be able to do that. She writes manga. She does not write stage plays. And, and even writing a stage play is different from writing this type of stage play, which takes into account this 360 environment. 
気づいてる今日の舞台の脚本もうん Interesting 勉強熱心ででもどうにかできるのはライダーさんだけですよ Oh Interesting そう原作者にも脚本家にも主張がある問題はそこに存在するディスコミュニケーションだそれさえクリアできれば So you gotta get them connected If that alone could be cleared up the entire play might Bro, I said this shit from the jump! From the jump! Why he acting so weird? Oh, yeah, I forgot because she fucking hates him. <laughs> I was like, why is he being so awkward? I totally forgot. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so she's a heavy drinker. <laughs> After watching Melt ruin her fucking sh uh, her her adaptation to to film or to TV, yeah, of course she's a heavy drinker. <laughs> They're saying a lot of stuff right now. Let's go drinking the minute you're all twenty. Let's booze ASAP, dude. She, she hey shit. <laughs> she does drink a little bit much. <laughs> hey, when you guys get old enough, let's go drinking. <laughs> Good. You should have that level of confidence to believe that you are as good as, if not better than, others when you are in an industry that is so competitive. Okay, well, maybe not that much, you know. Okay. And you definitely don't want yes men. You gotta have people that will challenge you. You gotta have people that will challenge you. Damn. I, you know what? I will say it is, we see time and time again, weekly uh, published mangaka need breaks. They need, they need to take time off. They get sick. They have to be hospitalized. It's a lot. Yeah, the only ones that can do it are the ones that live and breathe manga. Aww. Brother, if you guys really want in, I know that right now this show is doing a great job of in depth on manga, all that stuff. If you want good in depth anime about manga, I've done reactions to the series, they're all on the Patreon. Uh, freshest tier. It's this one. Bakuman. You gotta read or watch Bakuman. Bakuman does a great job of explaining the manga industry. Phenomenal. It's also done by the people that did Death Note. Great writing, great art. Highly recommend. All right? Highly recommend. <laughs> Ooh, somebody get mad. <laughs> yeah, she's been through some shit. She has been through some shit. A little jealousy, maybe? Because of how easy she's had it? Or easy she's had it? Oh. She's literally watched her mentor, maybe not mentor, but uh, she's literally watched a manga because she's assisted have their work be improperly adapted and had to see what that mangaka went through seeing that shit happen. Hmm. That's so true. I didn't even think about that. Damn, 90%. 90% of the world's creators are third rate. Bro, I create reactions. I'm definitely part of the 90, right? Damn, Abiko. Why you gotta come after me that way? I feel so attacked right now. Damn. I'm a thousand percent part of the 90%. Damn. You know what's crazy, dude? Talking about percentages, there's only like 30% of you that are subscribed to the channel. That means a lot of you. The 70%, the majority, are not subscribed 
If you enjoy the videos, consider subscribing. That way you could join that 30%, increase that 30% to be even higher. A little, a little hint of jealousy, obviously. But also, beyond the jealousy, she does feel, a, it's kind of like a conflicting feeling because I imagine there's also this like pride she feels as, as her being somebody that was assisting her. She feels like she's contributed to the style or contributed to her as a mangaka. So it's like, damn, dude, you're better than me, but also like I kind of helped, but also like, why can't it happen to me? But also like, you know, so it's tough. Damn. No. This is very bad. This is very, very bad. Ooh, dude, she is about to say some fucking hurtful shit right now. Oh, this is about to hurt. This is, this is, this is going to be really, this is going to be painful. I really do believe that Abiko is about to essentially tell her she's not good enough. Okay, I'm really glad that she didn't just shit on her. Really glad that that didn't happen. She's about to pop off on her right now. There we go. There it comes. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Yes! 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 Get her ass! Don't let her talk that shit! Yes! I fuck with this! That is going back and forth! Yes! Okay, wait, 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 dial it back, wait, hold on. It got a little too hard on her, bro. You got her crying, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Yeah, super introvert, bro. She's like an intro introvert, bro. How'd you hear about all that? She hasn't met Aqua like that. I bet Aqua could get along with her. Aqua can get along with anyone if he sets his mind to it. I love it, dude. Let's go. She just needed somebody to, to fucking fight back, bro. Oh, she was a fan. The only scene she could watch, bro. She gotta go to the last one. She gotta watch. She gotta watch the end one that was like actually like kind of decent. Yes, dude. Okay, yes. All right, dude, that's fucking sick. Okay, so so next episode or probably we're probably not going to see her actually watch the play next episode, but we will at least have we will see what the what, what watching the play has done to her. We will see what she takes from watching the play. She's going to learn a lot. She's going to learn that everything she's been writing not going to work in this setting. The setting is so vastly different from what she thinks in her mind. Hopefully, this can get her to reconnect with Goa and then actually start to, to tinker around with, with, the, with the, the script and properly adapt it in a way that she sees would work, in a way that he knows would work because he's done this before. And she's gonna see, when she watches it and she's like, yo, this shit's amazing, she's gonna look who wrote the fucking script, the screenwriter, the playwright, and she's gonna see his name. And then she'll know that she needs to work with him again. And hopefully they just work directly together. Stop having all these fucking mediators, people in between. And that would help a lot. This episode, um, aside from like obviously like 
the reaction to the play at the very start of things here. It's a lot about trying to show us all the shit that Abiko is going through. All the shit that she's been through, where her mind is here, like what she's thinking of, why she's taking it on herself in order to adapt it. We see the whole back and forth between her and um, between her and the other mangaka. I don't remember her name. Yoriko? Yoriko, I guess? Yoriko sensei? The 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 back and forth there, them kind of like butting heads, clashing, but also like kind of like because of that clashing, they're starting to understand one another. They see what what one went through, what one's going through. And um, I think it should help Abiko to gain more perspective on the situation. Obviously, after that whole big fight, she then goes to check out this theater. That's gonna that's gonna help a lot. The play's gonna help a ton to, to give her more perspective. Great episode. Loved it. What did you guys think about this one? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't just leave a comment. Also like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.